Hi Blender fans, this is JNM and in this video I want to show you some quick tips about the Blender UI. The first one is a fast way to collapse and expand panels. For example, this properties window contains many of them. Now if you want to collapse them all, you can just select the first one, then hold the mouse button pressed and move the mouse cursor downwards. Very useful and it also works the other way around, select the last panel, then hold the mouse button pressed and move the mouse upwards to expand all the panels. But if you want a particular panel to be expanded and collapse all the other ones, you can hold the control key down and then click the panel that you want to expand. Ok, the next one is about zooming the panels inside of a window, in and out. To do this hold the control key pressed, hover with the mouse cursor over the window, then press the middle mouse button and move the mouse to zoom. You can do this for each window separately. And if you want to reset the zoom to the default, again hover with the mouse cursor over the window and press the home key on your keyboard. On some keyboards it's also called pause 1 and I think for Mac OS you have to press the Fn key and then backspace. In the previous Blender video I showed the new icon toolbar of Blender 2.8. Now this feature can be used if you find the size of the icons too big for example. The toolbar can be collapsed so that you have two columns or just one column with icons and then you can zoom them as you like. Again use the home key or pause 1 on your keyboard to return to the default zoom. This home key keyboard shortcut is also very useful for the timeline. Here I'm again in Blender 2.79 and I have a simple animation for this cube. Now let's assume that I want to zoom the timeline so that the range from start to end frame fills the whole area of the window. Doing this manually can be quite tedious. So just press the home key and here we go. Alright guys, I hope you like these quick tips for Blender UI handling and if you do, don't forget to subscribe. If you would like to help this channel grow, think about supporting me on my Patreon, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and see you in the next one.